I want to go over some features and functions of this Bluetooth speaker and when I say Bluetooth speaker I kind of mean that kind of loosely because it actually is a multifunction speaker in my opinion because it actually has a couple other options for playing audio through the speaker which I'll go over in a little while um, but I do want to note that it's relatively small <clears throat> and it's not a bad thing I actually like how compact and portable it is but if I put an item that everyone's familiar with boom you kind of get an idea how small it is and I'm not quite impressed I'm really quite impressed with the size of the speaker relative to its sound because it actually puts out pretty good sound if I turn this to the right you'll see that it has a door with recessed ports on the top left you see AUX that's all auxiliary and that's actually for a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack it actually comes with a headphone cable the 3.5 millimeter cable it has two male ends so you can plug one into the speaker and plug one into something something like a uh, an iPod below that you actually have your micro USB port that's for charging it it actually comes with that cable as well to the right of that you have your DC out that's actually a a port for you that you can use to, to charge other le electronic devices um, but you know this has a 2000 milliamp battery so by today's standards most phones you're talking 3500 to 4000 milliamp so you're not going to really get a full charge out of this I mean it'd be good to charge you know maybe 25 percent or so I'm not really sure I haven't actually tested that feature but um, it, it is a really neat feature to actually have so above that you have TF that's actually a flash uh, flash memory drive if you have uh, if you have music on a on a memory card you can actually use that to actually play music through like I said it has a couple, a couple other options for playing music which I do find very neat indeed so if you go across the top you'll see a row of buttons these two buttons you can use to actually uh, cycle through the tracks of your music on your flash drive on your flash memory so you have your previous track you have your next track of course you have your volume down volume up this is your pause and your play this also is a dual purpose button that actually uh, if you're listening to your phone your Bluetooth speaker and the phone call comes in you can actually press that to actually answer the phone call and it actually works quite well if you actually tested it and it's pretty neat and you also have uh, your power button so in order to turn it on you have to actually press and hold the three LEDs the three white LEDs that indicates battery strength the flash and blue LED that indicate it's actually searching for a Bluetooth signal which I'll try and pair it with my phone this is a Nexus 6 there it is right there wow that was really fast okay I'll play some sample music just to kind of give you an idea of what it sounds like I do want to note that when you turn the volume up what I like to do is I'd like to turn the volume all the way up and adjust the volume from my phone but do note that when you turn your volume all the way up it does let you know when you've reached the maximum volume by beeping feeling tired of feeling nothing feeling stuck in the mud and I'm over it so far down looking around and I don't know how I'm getting out I do want to note something I did find I noticed that when I'm playing music if I turn it on its back the bass response actually gets quite a bit deeper it actually is more rich it actually more rich it actually becomes richer but if I place it down like this on the front it actually muffles the sound so what that tells me is you have your full range speakers here which I kinda actually can see it through this light I'm pretty sure you can't see it through uh, through this but I can actually see two small full range speakers and when I turn it around I can see an oval woofer across the back so that that right there tells you how how it can actually have that rich sound that it does have and I'll demonstrate Place, place, place Like 
And like I said, there is another way of playing audio. I don't have a flash memory card to actually test the flash drive, but I will test the auxiliary port. And it does notice that you actually plug in auxiliary device. This would be my iPod. You can see what it does. It actually changes from blue. It actually changes from blue LED to red LED. The blue, I would guess, indicates that it's actually Bluetooth, but the red shows that it's actually connected to an auxiliary device. So all in all, I'm quite impressed with the sound of it, especially how quickly it paired with my phone. Um, if I could make a recommendation for the, for the company, I wish they had rubber bottoms, something across the bottom to keep it from sliding, because I do notice when you put this on a hard surface that it, as the bass response uh, resonates to the speaker, you can actually feel it, but it actually starts to kind of just move a little bit. And I guess if you're toward the edge of a table, and it starts to move forward, it's probably eventually going to fall off the table. So if that's something that I can ask them to correct, um, that would be it. But otherwise, um, very neat speaker. Also do want to note that whenever you do answer a phone call, whenever you're in Bluetooth mode, here is the microphone that you use to speak into. Now you can't speak to it from across the room. You actually have to be next up to it uh, or right beside it to actually speak into the microphone for the other person to hear what you're saying and the uh, the other person when they speak through here it's actually it's actually quite clear like I said I don't want to demonstrate it right now because there's a lot of feedback when I actually try it uh, because being the phone is so close but trust me it does work and um, all in all very impressed